tonight at 5. I'm Chelsea Helms. And I'm Bob Donaldson. The man was recently found dead in his apartment building downtown. CBS 4's Jesse Wells spoke to the victim's family and has their reaction to this violence. Police were first called around 2 o'clock on Wednesday to check the welfare of a man who lived on the 14th floor here at the Barton Tower. Unfortunately, by the time police arrived, the victim was dead on scene. His family now wonders who's responsible for the homicide. Lying in his own bed here in the Barton Tower with blood splattered around the apartment, the family of Forest Hill Jr. says the 65-year-old appeared to have been beaten and left for dead. It hurts so bad just make you numb to everything. My brother meant the world to me. Cherise Hill says her brother had only recently moved into the Barton Tower along Mass Ave. Before his death, the victim did have a lengthy criminal history. So everybody make mistakes. He just got out of prison, what, three months ago? And wanted to change his life. Going to church, excited about this apartment. According to police reports, by the time office staff and IMPD officers found Hill, he was unresponsive. It's not clear how long he had been dead before being discovered or who took his life. Whoever did it, I hope they catch him and they pay for what they did because that was my friend. Torrance says when Forrest moved into the Barton Tower, he warned his friend that the property, which is overseen by the Indianapolis Housing Agency, could be dangerous. I say, you be careful. And that was my last words to him just yesterday. While there is security at the front desk of the tower and video cameras throughout the property, Hill's family thinks he would have been safer in prison. I would have begged him to go back to prison. Didn't come and live here. Hill's homicide took place 17 months after his nephew, Michael Schopner, was shot to death on Dexter Street in April of last year. No arrests were ever made in that case. Hill's family hopes the latest homicide here in this tower doesn't go unsolved. My family is hurting all over again. We can't catch a break. Again, because no arrests have been made in this case, anyone with information can still contact either IMPD's homicide office or Crime Stoppers. Jesse Wells, CBS4 News.